Hey there, Sartre here. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been quiet the last week or, or so. Um, just hasn't been a whole lot to do in game. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm a bit on just kind of autopilot cruise control with the game right now. I, personally, I'm just kind of like saving up all my excitement along with all my lapis for the upcoming anniversary. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of lapis uh, saved up. I, I haven't pulled for a unit since flaring ether rain um i did that one like i did the one step up for the vision card on Dwayne's banner and that's really like the only thing that that's like the last time i spent any lapis on anything so i yeah i just haven't really been too excited because i just haven't really had anything to pull for and so you know you guys know how much i love these uh <laughs> these unit exclusive battles so I wasn't too excited to jump into this one, but this one is at least a little more interesting because the unit restriction is not to like a series. Uh, it's actually to like a, a a tag that actually goes across series. And, and that's the, the blessing of the crystals tag, which is kind of a new one. It came out obviously with this banner because we've got uh, we've got Ace on the type O banner and he is a, a blessing of the crystal tag unit, uh, leader skill unit. And so, and uh, that, that, that's why that is the tag for this particular banner. Even though this is for uh, Ignis's crowns, right? This is for Ignis's silver crowns. Ignis, uh, being from Final Fantasy V, it, it, everyone in the Final Fantasy V, uh, from the Final Fantasy V series, gets the blessing of the crystal tag because they're, they're all very tied to the crystals. Anyways, uh, I'm, I'm digressing here. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. Um... I gotta resource some energy here. So as you can see, I have already completed it. Um, I'm not using Ignis, so you know you don't have to worry about you know whether or not I've, I've crowned some of the abilities or whatnot. Um, it, it's the usual stuff. The first like three stages, you're just gonna go and wipe out probably on turn one, to, turn two at the latest, um, and then turn the the fourth stage, the one that you know is a bit bulkier, tends to give people more trouble. Um, it's the usual missions. Clear without dying. That one's going to be uh, super easy. Clear within um, within five turns. That's the one that's going to be tricky for most people. We'll get this one done in, uh, I believe, four turns. Um, and so, you know, this team will comfortably get it done in the term limit. Uh, and then the no continues there is uh, that one's super easy as well. Um, so we're going up against uh, the Scylla, which is a, um, a demon. So make sure you're, you're building uh, demon killers in there. Uh, if you can bring a demon killer buffer, whatnot. Um, it uses uh, physical and magic attacks. All the physical attacks are evadable, so we're going to be using uh, an uh, evade, provoke, cover tank. And then uh, we're going to have elemental resists provided so that everybody's covered on, on that. Um, and it does do holy and flare which um, those are single target magic attacks with really big imperils. So our, our provoke unit will have really high fire and light resists. Okay, so um, here's the team that I used to get this one done in four turns. So you, you notice this is a, a fairly eclectic group. Um, and so it, it's, it's pretty interesting, uh, you know, the types of units you can bring. That, that, that's why I kind of like this one better than some of the other ones, to be honest. Um, so I, I've, I've, already, um, I've already filtered it for Blessing of the Crystals type. So you, and you can do that yourself. You go to the Category Filter. You see I've activated Blessing of the Crystals. I always filter for Neo Visions because, you know, you're not bringing seven stars to a, a battle anymore, really. Um, and... and these are the units that I have personally that have this tag, and it's actually a, a pretty, uh, you know, it, it's a pretty decent crew. Like, like you can bring Wilk, um, you know, not that, you know, not that Wilk's <laughs> um, gonna be great for this fight or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can bring like Wilk, you can bring Louise. Uh, obviously, you can bring Elena, so that's who I'm bringing to this fight. Uh, you can bring all the Typo units; they are all. Um, they all have the Blessing of the Crystals tag. Uh, you can bring some FFBE units like, you know, Fina, of course, Dark Fina, because, you know, they're closely attached to the Earth Crystal. Um, yeah, you've got all the Final Fantasy V units there. Um, and, yeah, so it's kind of an interesting mix. You've got the, the Return units. Um, yeah, you've got Warrior of Light, you know, so you got some Final Fantasy One in there. Uh, you got Dorgan, not that anyone's ever going to use him. Obviously, Red Mage Ingus is in there. 
and you even get some freebie units in there. So it, it's a very it, it's a very cool mix of units. I think um, I actually prefer limiting units in this way as opposed to like just a series because this at least sort of it, it sort of uh, gives you a, a broader selection of units from across different series. So I, I think if they did more fights like this, I would probably enjoy them more. Um, but anyways, this is the team that I'm using. You may notice that I have a uh, Gloof on, um, on the leader skill because he is the only person on this team that actually does a leader skill for everybody. He gives a 200% attack and mag leader skill to Blessing of the Crystal Category unit. So definitely, definitely, all right, if you're using if you're using anybody <laughs> uh, on this team, and you know, this is assuming you don't have Ace, right, uh, or you know, something like that. You know, uh, Final Fantasy V units are great for this uh, leader skill. I'm not sure if all the Final Fantasy V units have it, but uh, Galoof did, so I was like, sweet, he's my leader. Boom, 200% attack and mag to everybody. That applies to Elena. She gets a nice boost. That applies to Sice. Not that Sice is going to be doing anything. I haven't even really geared her for damage. Um, I probably should because she could deal uh, decent damage if I actually geared her. Um, it also works for Knights of Grand Shell. Also works for uh, the OG Elena. Right, so it's a great leader skill to activate. Um, and so he's just a great all-around unit for this this fight. He does a lot for this fight, honestly. Um, he's he's super super good for this fight. Let's take a look at his kit. We're only we're, we only care about the normal form. We're not using his brave shift for damage or anything like that. Um, he is full of aid. Uh, he has all um, status ailment. I think the only ailment that the boss throws is maybe paralyzed. So I always just make sure we cover all the ailments, anyways. Um, He's got a good spread of, of elemental resist, but we want to focus on fire and light um, because the boss is going to do a 300% imperil to fire and light only to Galoof. It's, all, it's a single target imperil, so he's the only person that has to worry about that. And we have OG Elena providing a 100% across the board elemental buff, uh, so he will be fully taken care of with those resistances. No problem at all. All right, um, and so here's the gear that I used to get all those resistances. Also, Sea Dragon is nice uh, for the evasion. Um, this is Tulian's card. You can buy it in the shop if you don't happen to have a, an EX1 Tulian. Um, and that gets him to 100% physical evasion. So, yeah, that's literally all he's doing. He's just going to activate his cover. He's going to cover all the physical damage. Um, and he can just basically guard for the rest of the fight. That's it. That's all he's doing. All right, super simple. Um, Elena is just here bringing the uh, bringing the damage. Um, I didn't go like I didn't go super crazy on her build or anything. You can see she's got her TMR there. Um, Ferris's sword, uh, Kamari's waist cloth is, is a nice one for um, for hybrid units because it's got decent attack and mag. Red Hellebore got upgraded, so it's got 80 attack and mag. Uh, double magic control ring because if you remember that got a nice bump in stats and gives 100% attack and mag TDW, which is very nice when you need your units to be able to do, to hit that 400%. So she's capped on, on that, on the TDW 400% there, which is very, very nice, thanks to those magic control rings. Um, and then yeah, just demon killers, make sure you give her hidden power. This is her intrinsic ability. I, you may not even remember what intrinsic abilities are. <laughs> it's, it's the system that you know, Gumi tried to implement to improve old Neo Visions. Um, and, you know, it, it worked on maybe like a handful of units, Elena being one of them, uh, the other being Sky. But for most of the units, they just kind of fell flat and then they just stopped doing them. Uh, but this one definitely required if you want to use Starlight Elena on this clear. She's a super old unit, so hopefully you have her to EX2, EX3. EX3 obviously being better. Um, and then, oh yeah, sorry, Th this vision card, you don't have to use this, I know this is a limited vision card, um, just whatever vision card you have on it, this is just, uh, favorited gear, um, so if you have another card that gives decent attack and mag on it, slap that on her, it doesn't have to be this card, uh, anything will do in that slot. Um, she is going to be one of the, she'll be our secondary damage dealer, we'll say that, obviously Knights of Grand Shell is doing the majority of the damage, but she's she's going to do some some decent chip damage. So she is 300% demon killer. Uh, so definitely make sure you got the demon killers in there. Um, Sice, yeah, as you can see, I didn't even bother to gear her. I think if I had bothered to gear her, she probably would actually deal some decent damage because her um, her SLB 
you know, it's not a terrible mod, 250, but it gets an 80 times mod boost when you use her, um, when you use her Magnus. Uh, and so, you know, that goes up to a 330. And yeah, it's not bad, you know. I mean, it, it's there are definitely worse modifiers out there. Um, so, you know, she could definitely contribute a bit to the damage, but she's really just here to be our breaker. Um, you can acquire her from the Star Quartz shop. Unfortunately, her shards are not in the EX shop, uh, the EX coin shop. I was surprised to see that they had not been added to the EX coin shop, but you can uh, get the unit from the Star Quartz shop if you don't just, you know, if you don't have a bunch of these lying around. I unfortunately, like, just very recently did a bulk fusion, and so I, I literally had one size. That's it. I had one size in my inventory when I, I booted up the game today, and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> killing me. Um, so I, I had to go and buy, I think I bought 10 uh, from the Star Quartz shop, because I have like 2,500 Star Quartz, so I dropped 200 Star Quartz to buy 10 of them, that gets you 250 shards, which is all you need to get her to EX3, and that's what I did. Uh, easy bonus unit there for you guys. Um, yeah, so you could gear her, I didn't. Uh, if you need extra damage, gear her for LB damage and demon killers. That's it. Knights of Grand Shell, we don't care about his normal form. In his Brave Shift form, you can see I didn't go crazy, no, no Clash of Wills gear, nothing too fancy here. Um, you know, indestructible light for the chain cap boost. Um, he, since I do have him EX3, I gave him his own vision card. Obviously, you can give him whatever vision card you have that works in this slot. If you have a better vision card, great. If not, you should use, use the best thing that you have. All right. Um, so I didn't go crazy on the build here. 300% demon killer, 300% LB damage. That's all you need. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. Okay, moving on. Uh, Elena, we honestly don't care about her. Her damage is going to be totally irrelevant, so I didn't even bother to gear her. Um, oh, there's sort of like a budget hybrid vision card you could use on your Starlight Elena if you wanted to. Uh, that's Fryevia's vision card, by the way. <clears throat> um, and then, yeah, she'll be in her Brave Shifted form to start the battle to do all the buffs and everything. And then she's just chaining. Then she's just a chain slave with Starlight Elena. That's it. All right, so... That's pretty much it. Let's get in here and see how we get this done. All missions clear. I feel like I've rambled a lot more than usual in this video. I'm, I'm just kind of like, like I said, I'm just, I'm kind of like on cruise control right now. I'm like not even, I, I'm kind of half-assing all this stuff. Uh, and, and I'm just not even that into the game at the moment. But um, yeah, sorry. I will try to like pull it together and be a little bit more concise. So um, we're going to do... Ba, ba, ba. Swarm protection for the cover. Let me just check and make sure how many turns this is. Four turns. Yep. So that that covers us for the whole whole fight. Dawn's light. Um, just to have an action to do. It imbues the team with light. Why not? We're going light element, so might as well. Um, and then we're gonna do uh, stronghold advance. Um, that just makes sure that he has um, active uh, provoke at all times. All right. Um, even though he's, I think he's already built for passive provoke, but just to make sure. So, and then he's just going to guard for the rest of the fight. Um, Knights of Grand Shell, it's just going to go ahead and put a stack on his LB. Um, Sice is just going to do, uh, what is she going to do on this turn? She's just going to do Black Hole uh, for the breaks. <clears throat> We're going to save her, her grandest breaks for next turn. Starlight Elena is going to do Celestial Brilliance, Stella Maris. If you don't have um, Celestial Brilliance, don't, don't worry about it too much. Um, you can get a Demon Killer buff from... Uh, what's her name? Uh, OG Elena. She has it on her Brace Shifted LB. So that's this is really just for the Demon Killer buff for the party. Um, also does some nice uh, light amps for herself. Um, and then just for her last move, we'll just do a Gemini Bleed. Okay, um, OG Lane is going to do Crystal Refrag. This is what does the 100% Elemental Resist across the board for five turns, which is perfect. Lasts the whole battle. Blessing of the Azure, Azure Crystal just does some buffs, does break resistance. I don't know if the boss actually throws breaks at us or not, but, you know, um, just in case he does, that has you covered. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right, so there you go. Uh, we're evading all the physicals. We are resisting all the magic damage. So we are, I mean, we are pretty much, we will not take any damage at all this entire fight with this team. Uh, Gal uh, Galif can just uh, guard. Uh, Knights of Grand Shell, they will just go ahead and get ready to do a um, big burst next turn. Okay. Uh, Elena, Gem double Gemini and a star supernova. Elena comes to normal. Uh, we'll do um, Crystal Refract, Blade of Salvation, Piercing Prism. Sice is going to do Quad. We're going to do Reaping Grudge for the breaks. This does the 87% full break. Uh, You're Dead, all right, which is for the, um, the LB boost, the LB mod boost to herself. <clears throat> um... And then if you want, you can give her, like if you were gonna use her for damage, um, this will do a slightly bigger um, dark imperil uh, on the boss when you do this. So you can go ahead and imbue her with dark if you want to. Um, that way she does a little bit of extra damage. I'm not gonna bother with it because I'm not using her for damage, but if you were, use Reaping Darkness um, or Reaping Wind because when, when you do the imperils, it's going to be slightly stronger than the light imperil that we have on the boss currently. All right, so that's just something to keep in mind. Since I'm not using that, I'm just going to do some some double BS. Doesn't really matter which one. Just a chain with Elena, uh, with the the two Elenas here. All right. Um, so I'm going to send Sice first, Knights of Grand Shell, and then the two Elenas. All right, and this is just do a little chunk of damage. It's not going to do like, you know, not massive damage. Um, because, you know, like I said, Elena is very much a secondary damage dealer to Knights of Grand Shell. All right, so there is the single target holy. All right, so um, that means uh, Galoof should be imperiled if I'm... How oh, did they not do it? So it didn't imperil. Okay, maybe it's only to fire that he gets imperiled. I'm not really sure. Um, I thought it said it was going to imperil light and dark, or light and fire in the description. Can't always trust those Moogle notes. Those Moogles, they're so untrustworthy. All right, uh, Galif is just going to guard. Um, so uh, Sice's uh, SLB is triple bolting strike, so she will chain it up with the Elena's, and then uh, we'll just cap with Knights of Grand Shelt's Limit Burst. All right, so let's, um, let's do it. All right, there you go. Nice chunk of change. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, Elena could do the rest of the damage from here on out um, herself. I don't think Elena is strong enough necessarily to carry it herself. Like, if you didn't have Knights of Grand Shell, um, you would definitely want probably an another strong damage dealer in his slot. Because um, I don't think Elena can carry it by herself. Maybe if you had two of them. I don't know. You could try it and see. Um, now, just to make sure, you know, in case your units aren't quite as strong, um, it's okay. We're going to use, like, you know, for example, if your Knight of Grand Shell isn't EX3, maybe he's not dealing as much damage. This is where Galif is, like, super fantastic. He's got an Entrust in his kit. Boom! Look at that. All right, we're just going to reload, repeat, and we're going to just blow this guy up on turn four. Easy peasy. All right, we've unlocked these, like, special skills. I don't really care. Um, she's just a chain slave, and let's just do it. Boom. Boom. And there you go. Fight's over. Turn four. Um, you know, obviously if, um, if your units were, you know, not nearly strong enough and you you needed to go to turn five i have no doubt that elena could just clean it up because after that knights of grand shelt would have to go back to his normal form he wouldn't be nearly as, as strong on turn five um the elena you know starlight elena would be able to clear that clean that up for you um yeah she actually you know <laughs> i i said she was a secondary damage dealer she actually did quite well for herself i mean you know knights of grand shelt doing about 10 bill 
almost 10 bill himself, but Starlet and Elena almost doing 8 bill. So, I mean, she definitely, she definitely brought it, all right? She brought her A game to this one. Proud of her. Way to go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have a, I have a feeling that our anniversary unit is going to be a new Elena just based on like the cow news and all of that stuff. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that Elena is going to get a resurgence, a new premium, uh, new premium unit. Um, so we'll see if, if Elena comes to get her, uh, her groove back. Uh, but anyways, I hope this was helpful to you guys. That's an all missions clear for you. there using, using these units. Um, yeah. Hopefully this was helpful and helps you guys clear this one out. I will, uh, I'll try some of the other things like the big bridge exploration and, uh, I'll try to get that done and get that out to you guys either, either later, later today or tomorrow. Um, but thank you guys so much for following me and I will see you on the other side.